What's up guys, I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to make an album cover on your iPad. Let's get into it. So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made the album cover for my latest single called Slow Down. And I'll be taking you step by step through the process that I use every time I make an album cover on my iPad. The first thing that I like to do when I'm making an album cover is find a cool picture. And my favorite place to do that is Unsplash because they don't charge you anything to download the images. So this is what the app looks like right here. And you can see as soon as you open it, there's going to be a bunch of images. And you could actually just start scrolling through here and see if you see something you like. These are gonna be like some of the top picks, like some of the more popular stuff that people have been downloading lately. But if you wanna search for something more specific, you can click this little search icon right here. So just as an example, let's just put guitar in. So you can see these are the results for just typing in guitar. And if you liked one of these images, let's just say you like this one, you come over to this button right here and you click that and it's gonna start downloading that image to your photos. So now this image has been added to my photos. We can go take a look and there it is. So that's how easy it is to get cool images with Unsplash. So once I have a picture that I like, I take the picture into this app called Darkroom. And this app is for editing your colors and your lighting. So I like to take it in here to get it looking exactly how I want it to look. So this is the picture that I ended up using for this album cover specifically. Once you've opened up the picture, you're gonna click on this icon right here to get your basic adjustments. So of course you can mess with the brightness right here and you can mess with the contrast. And if this was a picture that I had taken myself, I definitely would be messing with those. But for this picture, I actually like the way they have it looking as far as that's concerned. All I ended up doing to this picture is turning the saturation down so that it gives it more of a gray look. And then the other thing that I did was come to this grain knob here and turn that up some, just a little bit. And of course you could kind of make it look like crazy and old school like that if you wanted, but I just wanted it to have a little bit more texture to it like this. I'm actually happy with how this looks right here. So we're gonna export this. And of course, when you're exporting, you just come up here to this button and then you press, you can press modify original or you can just do save a copy. I usually do save a copy just because sometimes it's nice to have the original unedited. All right, and now this picture is gonna be in our photos also right here. So guys, before we move on to the next part of making the album cover, I just wanted to say, if you don't have a way that you're distributing your music, I would highly recommend using DistroKid. And you can actually use my link down below to save 7% when you sign up. And if you'd like to hear more about DistroKid, some of the features they offer and how to upload your own music, I have a video telling you all that right here if you wanna check that out. Anyway. Let's get back to making the album cover. The last app that I use when I'm making an album cover is called Procreate, and this is what it looks like right here. So we're gonna open that up, and what you're gonna do is come to this plus icon to start a new project. Of course, we're making an album cover, so we're just gonna click on this square one right here. So this is gonna open up a new square project for you inside of Procreate. Now that we got this new project, we're gonna add that image to it. So what you do is you come to this icon up here in the top left, it looks like a wrench, and you're gonna press add, and then you're gonna insert a photo. So we're gonna come here, this is it right here. Now, I feel like this image is kind of compressed, like I wanna, I wanna stretch it out. So what we're gonna do is click this freedom button, and that allows you to slide it and stretch it. So I'm gonna stretch it a little more. Cool, I like how that looks. And now we're gonna put uniform so that we can move the image around without it actually stretching. So now we're gonna move this image to get it framed exactly how we want it. So you can zoom in. So at this point is when you're gonna to wanna to add your text to this image. And something that's really cool about Procreate is it's actually a drawing app. So you can actually write in the text if you wanted to. What you do for that is you come up here to this layers tab and you'd press this plus button to add a new layer. Once you have that layer, you're gonna click this pencil icon and you can just start drawing on this image. 
And something that's really cool when you've made a second layer like we did, you can come in and erase that without having to worry about messing up the picture. So you can draw it as many times as you need to till you get it right. So the other option you have is to type in the text and what you would do is you'd come to this icon up here at the top left and you'd press add text. So now it's gonna add this to the screen and you can just type in whatever you want. Right, so you type it in and if you wanna make adjustments to it, you can come right here. So right here is where you would change the font, the style, and you could change the size and things like that right here. So I don't actually wanna use this text for this image. So we're actually gonna to come to this layers tab and we're gonna to slide to the left and press delete. And that's gonna get rid of that text. What I ended up deciding to do with this image is actually bring in my logo and it's a PNG file. So you can just lay it right over the top of this. I'm gonna come here and we're gonna press insert a photo again. And we're gonna to go to albums. So this is where if you've made a logo for yourself, it can be really helpful when you're making album covers and things like that because you can just drop it in and you don't have to do that work every time. So just I, I just drop it in and I'm gonna try to align it. That looks good to me right there. So. Once you have it looking the way that you want it to look, you'd come back to this icon in the top left and you'd press share. And typically when I'm doing an album cover, I would just share it as a JPEG. That works really good for DistroKid. And we'll just save image. And now this image is going to be in the photos also. So guys, if you want to check out my latest single or hear more about DistroKid, I'll have those videos on the screen for you right now. But as always, die MD. I'll catch you in the next one.